All right, welcome back to Lose How To videos. Again, here's an updated version of doing VirtualBox. Much hasn't changed, but just feel like making a new video or an updated one. Again, use your favorite web browser. Go to, you know, your search engine, type in VirtualBox. And then you should, you know, come up to a page that says VirtualBox.org, you know, Oracle VM VirtualBox, just like that. Alrighty. Then we should see this page and then here we can click on the big download button and then you're just going to pick your platform so if you're running windows mac or whatever flavor you're going to highlight your flavor wait till it finishes downloading and then you can just click open and that's going to execute the application you're going to have a little pop-up that may show up. It may or may not show up on my screen. The UNC. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and follow the steps. So I'm going to leave mine with a shortcut in the start menu. I'm going to take it off the desktop and the quick bar because I don't, you know, I don't, I don't like to keep my desktop cluttered. But, you know, if you look at my desktop at school, yeah, it's pretty cluttered. But... <laughs> My home one, I don't. All right, so I'm gonna hit next. And then I'm just gonna say, proceed to install. It's gonna install the network interface onto the machine. There we go. And your installation process versus mine may vary. Again, you see some stuff popping up in the top left hand. And there we go. There is virtual box all right so i'm just going to do a quick little overview and then i'm going to make a separate video of actually installing some software again here is our virtual machine and here we have our preferences so here we here's where the default is going to store your vms cool how often do you want this to check for updates so you can do it every day your display settings again uh, your network activities, your extensions, your proxy, if you have any. Eh, the big thing I just, just want to show, like, here's where, so you know where your files are being saved. Now, if you want to change that, you can do that if you want. And then, when you're ready, you just click on New. And then you would just follow the steps here. Nothing uberly sophisticated. Again, we can simulate uh, windows. So here we can see, here's the different flavors. So the only one point I wanna point out is, if you have a 32-bit OS, you can only virtualize 32-bit OSs. If you have a 64-bit OS, you can do 32-bit and 64-bit versions. All right, so I will see you guys in the next how-to video. All right, catch you later, bye.